Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto and I'm back with another recipe for you. Some of you guys were requesting a chicken alfredo recipe after my last meal prep video and it seems so perfect. I have chicken left over. It's a great idea to use meal prep leftovers later in the week to remix recipes and make them completely new so you don't get bored. I'm pretty sure that adding the skin in with the meat is against the tradition of making an alfredo, but I'm okay with that. I really like the flavor and the texture that it adds, so I'm gonna do it. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna add some Kerrygold butter into my cast iron pan. It's probably about mm, one and a half tablespoons, one tablespoon, and I'm just getting that in there to melt down, and then I'm gonna add in my white onion and cook that until it's translucent. After adding some seasoning to the pan, we're going to want to go ahead and add some heavy cream and start to build our Alfredo sauce. Go ahead and add in some grated Parmesan cheese. Then go ahead and stir the sauce and start to let everything combine. Then I added one ounce of cream cheese to my pan and stirred that into the sauce. After tasting the sauce, I felt like I needed a little more flavor, so I went ahead and layered some more in. So we can set the sauce aside for a minute. Now I'm gonna put some Kerrygold butter into my nonstick pan and just give a good sear to the cube chicken and some of that chicken skin that I mentioned earlier. Let's get that ready to go in the sauce. While heating up the chicken, I add some more seasoning. I love oregano, so I had to throw some of that in there. Once seared a bit, I then set the chicken aside and we're gonna get into getting those noodles into the sauce. In hindsight, I might have even sliced up the lasagna style noodles that are broader to make them look like fettuccine for this, but this worked fine anyway. The box instructions don't say that you need to, but I still went ahead and rinsed and drained the noodles anyway. I then added the entire pack of noodles to the Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna cook that down for about two minutes. By the way, I did go ahead and make my own Alfredo sauce, but I really like the Rouse brand because it's very low in sugar. So if you find that in your local store and you don't feel like making one homemade, grab that one.
I also then microwaved the broccoli for approximately six minutes and chopped some of the mushrooms up, getting that ready to just saute that in the pan quickly before I add that to the sauce. I then rinsed and wiped down the mushrooms and got them ready, got them chopped up. Then I cubed the broccoli into slightly smaller pieces. You don't want like a big chunk of broccoli in there. So I just diced them a little bit smaller, like medium chop. I added about another teaspoon or two to the pan and then started to saute the mushrooms and the broccoli just to bring all the flavors together, seasoning it a little bit more again, some onion powder, Old Bay, and you know, just getting the seasoning in every level of the recipe. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video you could be anywhere in the world right now anywhere on YouTube but you chose to stop by and share some time with me and watch this video I hope it was valuable to you guys I hope you make it I hope you love it and I will see you again soon by the way go ahead and please comment subscribe and hit that notification bell because y'all know YouTube be tripping